tú tienes un acento chistoso. ¿De dónde eres? De Colombia. Ah. No tienen 10 segundos para salir de aquí. 10, 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This new season of Narcos is practically a new storyline, and right. your character is new as well. Yes. Um, it's very opposite of who you play <laughs> in Broad City, which I love. He's, you know, this comedic uh, person. Right. Um, how different is your character on, on Narcos? Well, I think they're basically the same, you know? It's just like a misunderstood romantic comedy, really, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a very, very different um, character than anything I've played before. But uh, he, the one thing I've tried to find in common with him, right? Because you have to find, he's so different from me, you know, I'm not a raging sociopath, but, mm -hmm. uh, or not before noon <laughs> anyway. Um, he's really loyal to his family, right? And he wants to protect the throne at all costs. So therefore, I kind of sort of drew on the, on getting his father's approval to justify all his very mm -hmm. sick action. But yeah. yes. Definitely different than working on Broad City, for sure. You know, your character is always trying to win over his father. Um, mm -hmm. Does any of that play a role in real life? Have you ever had to go through that in your own household? Well, not in my case in particular, but I think we can all relate to trying to live up to somebody else's expectations. And mm -hmm. we've all had, you know, the feeling of unrequited love sometimes. So, so yeah, I mean, that, that's a huge um, driving force for David, you know, and that's what I've tried to empathize with him but no my father i think my father loves me dad do you love me <laughs> <laughs> he's right here he's, he's here somewhere yeah. <laughs> you know we interviewed you a while back for our profile growing up latino and sure. your che Guevara moment you said that you actually staged a full uh uh walk out at school because they hiked wow. the prices of sandwiches <laughs> my, my reputation is just yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting better by the minute um in today's <laughs> have you been vocal at all or active in today's political climate i've been trying to be active in a way um well you know i'm coming out with my own show and i'm mm -hmm. trying to change the way the narrative that's in politics right now about what being latino means mm -hmm. you know and I think the best way to do that for me, or for my case, through my art, is um, through comedy. You know, yeah. it's a very disarming tool. But yeah, of course it's very concerning, but I want to, you know, I want to portray people and I want to do shows that let people know, people like, you know, us know that there's a different theme to be spoken of. Absolutely. You, know? you studied law school in Guatemala mm -hmm. uh, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Was there any useful knowledge in that field that you carried over into your character in Narcos or just the show's overall theme? Well, if you think the cocaine business is ruthless, you should try. <laughs> you should try <laughs> law school. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, on a sort of on a grander philosophical scale, there, there's not. I really like trial law, right? And there's something about making something that's already written work in your favor through argument. And I think you know that and acting aren't that different from each other. But yeah, definitely. Well, the the seriousness, you know, of this role and the seriousness of a career like law like really gave me the mm -hmm. it was a, it's the only time in my life where I've been where I was forced to wear, wear a suit so yeah, yeah, yeah. I really drew on that uncomfort discomfort <laughs> too, you know? <laughs> this suit doesn't fit I'm gonna kill everybody you know <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah I mean being a lawyer and being a big old drug dealer I don't know how to make correlate that but yeah if you can right. find a way <laughs> I support sure. it. <laughs> and finally, uh, what do you hope that this role, what doors do you hope that this role opens for you? I hope that, I hope that, pe I hope that people will get a chance to see my more dramatic side. I hope to be taken serious as not just a comedian, but as um, a more so yes, Yeah, I'm an actor, you know, and I love both genres. And I've been very lucky, you know, Narcos has given me this amazing opportunity to not get pigeonholed into one genre. For sure. But yeah, especially if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're watching both of the shows I do, I hope you're very confused as to who I am at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope, I hope that people, well, it's the first thing that people in Guatemala are gonna see. Right. You know what, because Comedy Central doesn't go there and like my films ne never went there. So That's right. I finally get a chance to prove that I'm nice. not, I'm not <laughs> just studying. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Like up until a couple of years ago, they were like, so, yeah, you're in theater school or something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Five awesome. years working, so I hope that Well, they like I'm excited it. for you. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you for sitting with me.